Hello everyone, today my brain is fried because I've been working with C++ all day, so I'm glad to be back, getting back into zombie modding. Today we are going to be compiling and packaging our map so that other people can play it and we can send it to friends and upload it to websites and play it with other people. Uh, so all we need to do to do that is first we're going to make a zip file, okay? Now, first you're going to actually go to your World at War root folder, then go to mods and then go to Nazi Zombie YT. Now once you're in this folder, we are going to zip these files. Now you could copy ma maps and weapon if you wanted, but they're already compiled into the fast file, so we don't need them. And really, if you did put these in there, people will be able to access your code, and most people don't like that. I mean, if that's what you're going for, then go ahead. Um, but really, all you need is the arena file, the CSV file, the .ff files, the .files file, and the .iwd file, okay? So once you have these selected, just go ahead and send it to a compressed zip folder. And now, name this to your mod name. So my mod name is NaziZombie underscore YT, so I'm going to put that to my mod name as well. Now let me make this clear. It has to be a zip file. It cannot be a .rar file. It cannot be a .tar.gz file. It cannot be anything other than .zip, okay, so make sure it is that. So once you have that, go ahead and go over to the ZM Nazi Zombies EXE Creator V2.1. The download will be in the description below. And go ahead and open Make EXE, okay? This is a custom um, install creator, basically, and it was made by Tom BMX, or he modded it. Uh, so all you need to do is open the source zip file, and you're just going to go to your World of War root folder, mods, uh, your mod name, and then find your zip file that you just created. Go ahead and open it. So it's going to add the files into it. Keep the installer name at Nazi Zombie YT, okay, or uh, whatever your mod name is, okay? Leave this as is, because I thought you could modify that, and when you do, it doesn't load your mod. Okay, so just leave it at Nazi Zombie YT. Keep the interface at modding. Basically, leave everything down here except for compression. We're going to change compression to BZIP2, and we're going to make it a solid compression. Now, we're just going to hit the generate button. Now, this will take a minute or two. It is not super fast, but it won't take super long either. So it's just basically taking your zip file and it's going to make it into an installer. So basically, you upload this .exe installer to zombie modding or whatever. Other people will be able to download that installer, run it, and it will add, uh, or it will extract all the necessary files to where they need to go. So once it is done, you will see this test button. We are going to go ahead and click this. Now it will open up this installer. It'll say, welcome to zombie modding map slash mod installer, and it has this like wonderful zombie image over here with the zombie modding logo, and it says caught a, uh, sorry, coded by Tom BMX. So just go ahead and hit install, click this button, start menu shortcut. You can add a desktop if you want, okay, um, and other people will have that option as well. Okay, so once you are done that, go ahead and go into your start menu and go all the way to the bottom until you'll find zombie modding. And in this folder should be the one you just created. In my case, I have a few here. Uh, you probably won't have these here unless you've used or played other maps, um, but Mine is right here, Nazi Zombie YT, so just go ahead and click that. Uh, oh, my World at War isn't linked. Let me just go ahead and... Oh, that's Modern Warfare 2, not Black uh, World at War. Uh, let's just go find it. There it is. Okay. So now I'm just going to run it. And as you can see, it opens World at War automatically, and it should load the mod automatically for us. So as you can see, it says Solo YT and Group YT, which we did from our custom menu buttons. And if we just go ahead and click it, there we go. It's launched our map. So hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please leave a like below, comment any questions or comments you guys may have on the video, and subscribe. Um, some of you were asking if you needed to do anything for group play to sort of play with friends. All you need to do, hit group YT, host online, then you're going to go to game setup. You're going to set the game mode to Nazi Zombies, select your map here, and just hit OK. And you should have this checkerboard texture because we haven't added our own custom... Uh, a uh, little preview down here, and then just invite people into your lobby and start the match, and it will start fine. Okay, we don't need to do any custom scripting or anything like that, and yeah. So that is kind of the last video in the series, but we are going to do more videos, okay? This isn't the end of the Call of Duty World at War custom zombie mapping tutorial series. We are going to do, like, custom textures, custom models, custom perk machines. Um, we're going to get into actually putting a preview here so that it's not just a checkerboard, and uh, yeah. So that is the end of the basics, and we are going to get into the more advanced stuff after this video. So if you guys look forward to that, I do too, and I will see you guys later.